Greetings, my name is Dr. Aluita Sianga and you're welcome to today's Life Building Nugget. Today I'm talking about the fact that you must practice detachment, not just attachment, if you want success. Practice detachment, not just attachment, if you want to, to have success. Now, the whole concept of attachment is very simple. Basically, we get attached to things. We get into stuff. So you get into a business, you get into a relationship, you get into, into a lot of things. We engage ourselves in so many things. That, that is what I mean by attachment. Now, it's very, very important that as you attach yourself to a job, a business, a relationship, while you are doing that, have the practice of detachment as well, all right? Have the practice of detachment. Now, detachment is an art of stepping away from what you are attached to so that you gain objectivity. Stepping away from what you are attached to so that you do not lose perspective. All right. Uh, stepping away from what you're committed to is very important so that you don't lose attachment, uh, you don't lose commit, uh, um, uh, focus, you don't lose uh, your concentration on the thing so that you don't lose objectivity, so that you do not lose perspective. It's very, very important in that respect. Now, why is perspective or objectivity important? A lot of times we ourselves, we sabotage our own success because we cannot, we are too person or too deep into something and and then uh, as a result of that we begin to uh, literally uh, mess up the thing ourselves because we're not being objective about it uh, let me give you three examples example number one i will give you is uh, we must learn to uh, detach ourselves from things that we are personally involved with. I'll give an example of, um, say, a relationship. You are involved and you are in love with this person. It's important time and again to step out of that relationship, not to walk away, no, but to step aside briefly to look at your love, okay? Because love that is not objective is crazy love and crazy love is not good it's 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 psycho love and you do not want to be a psycho in love why because you are lacking objective objectivity people that say things like you know what i would die for you i i can get hiv for you that that is not okay and and that is as a result of you not being able to be normal about your love losing objectivity so you can lose objectivity about your relationship number two uh, the example I will give you is an example of when you're dealing with others. Sometimes it's important to step aside from how you're connecting and relating with others, maybe in terms of business, in terms of work, uh, to check whether you're being objective in your engagement and whether you are, you are, you are doing things in, in a correct way or in a right manner. If you are too into something, you will not be able to see how you're treating others. You'll not be able to see how you're conversing with others and how you're relating with others. The third example I will give you is an example of circumstances and how we relate with circumstances. Sometimes when you're dealing with situations, if you want to maintain objectivity, learn to step away from the situation and analyze it as if you are not involved in that situation. Analyze it, analyze it and think through it and you will find that in that way you are very, very objective as you are dealing with situations. So yes, we must attach. Yes, we must be committed. Yes, we must be into stuff. But time and again, come out, check it, look at it. Is what I'm doing objective? Is what I'm doing in perspective? Is it normal? And then you can come back and continue with your commitment that way. So the practice of detachment and attachment and detachment and attachment continuously is what produces undiluted and uncorrupted success. This is Dr. Alvitus Yanga. God richly bless you.